Good morning, everyone. So let's take a look at these problems right here. We want to be able to visualize the Pythagorean theorem because I really don't want you guys just to memorize formulas and just without thinking, just follow directions. That's not what I want you guys to do. I want you guys to actually think about, you know, how all of this stuff works because that's where it's all the fun. That's where it's all the beauty of math is. Um, and so, like I said, <clears throat> um, the formula for a Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. And these a squared is referring to a square with the area of a, and then b is another square with the side of b, and then c is a bigger square, right? That is an addition of these two areas because of this plus sign. So if you take a look at this um, right triangle right here, uh, the areas of the uh, squares adjacent two sides of a right triangle are 32 units and 32 units. So this unit right here is going to be 32 units, right? And this is also 32 units. If this is 32 units and this is 32 units, this bigger square, right? I'm going to try to estimate that a little bit. Estimate that so you guys can see it. Okay, I don't know. I can't erase it for whatever reason. It's going to be like about like this big right here. Okay, so um, let's, I can erase it now, I think. Yep. All right, here we go. So as you can see, um, this is what's happening, right? I, this is A squared, right? We're just going to say this is A. This is A. And this is B. Okay. Um, and then this is C. Remember, the Pythagorean theorem states that it's this square created by one of the legs. Uh, plus uh, this square created by the length of this leg uh, is equal to this um, leg created by this square, right? Or the area of uh, this square created by this leg. So it's 32 plus 32. Oh, excuse me, I almost, I almost sneezed. <laughs> 32 plus 32, which is 64. So this is area is going to be 64 units, okay? Uh, because that's the square, right? This is 32 units of area, 32 units of area, 32 plus 32 is 64. So my answer is going to be 64, 64 units. Yeah, we're good. Oh, what the? Uh, it's not, that's not it. Okay. Oh, okay. So here's the thing. See, they're not asking for the area, right? They're asking for the length, right? There, the, what they did was give me the area, 32 plus 32 is 64, right? Uh, because of the definition of the Pythagorean theorem. So what they want is a length, <coughs> which is x. So um, how do we find the length of this area, 64, right? Take the square root of it, right? Um, and square root of 64, 64 is, you know, 8 times 8, 8 times 8, right? And then 8 times 8 is the same thing as 8 squared, right? So square root of 8 squared is 8, okay? So um, yeah, remember, square root undoes the squaring. So therefore, this is equal to 8. So this length right here is equal to 8, okay? All right, let's go to the next one. So this is going to be 8. Try to erase that right there. And I won't let me erase. Oh, there it is. Erase and eight, and then check again, and we're good. All right, let's try this one. Okay, um, the area of the blah 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 triangles. So we're trying to find the area of this now. Okay, so remember it's gonna be this area plus this area is equal to 44. So we can put it into algebra like this. We can go 32 units, right? Plus some number, plus some number, which we don't know, is equal to 44, right? Um, and this is a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So if this is 33, uh, and this is 44, how do we get this number, right? 33 plus 11 is 44, or we could just subtract 33 on both sides. 
then we can guess a uh, question mark is 11. So my answer is 11 units. And that's the area, right? Before we find the side, we found the side length, but this time we found the area. Okay. All right, let's take a look at this one. Based on the areas of the squares, determine whether the uh, whether the triangle shown is a right triangle. So let's think, okay? Um, is it a right triangle? Okay, let's make this bigger. So we know that once again, it's a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So a squared is 18 plus b squared is seven is equal to c squared, which is 27. Okay, 18 plus seven is 25 is equal to 27. Does that equal to each other? Nope. So is this a, is this a right triangle? No, it's not, okay? If it did equal to each other, then that would be a right triangle. But this right here is a way to figure out that this is not a right triangle, which is kind of cool, okay? Okay, so this is not a right triangle. Okay, and then let's try this one. Okay, the diagram shows a right triangle and three squares. The area of the largest square is 67 units, okay? Uh, okay. So the largest angle, this is this right here is 67, right? Because um, the largest square is created by the longest side, which is the hypotenuse, which is across from the 90 degrees. So this is 67 units. And so both of this area plus this area has to equal to 67. So let's take a look. Um, so 8 plus 58, it goes 56. 60 plus 7 is 67. And then 11 plus 56 is 67. Okay. So, so 67, right? So it looks like B and C. This equals 67, 67. So, and that's what they're looking for, 67 units. And then, voila. Okay. So I hope that helped, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.